Uh, my husband and I are going to show you how we repurposed an oil tank which was made obsolete by our switch to a geothermal heating and cooling system in our house. We cut up the tank to make raised beds for our garden. But before cutting, we made sure that the tank was empty of oil and we placed the cut sections on an old tarp before scraping and brushing off any residue. And after moving each clean section from the tarp, uh, we used a torch to burn away any residue left and we used the sniff test to make sure it was totally clean. It's important to note that this oil tank has been sitting out for years you have to make sure that there's no oil left in a tank before you start cutting. For good reason, right? For safety reasons. I'm gonna be using an angle grinding with a metal cutting blade and a sawzall with a metal cutting blade. I will use the, this to make the initial cut and see how it goes and either continue with that or I'll switch to the sawzall to see how it cuts. And note, please, that he's wearing safety goggles and hearing protectors before he starts using this, these loud machines. Here he's going to use the angle grinder just to get started, and then he'll use the Sawzall because it goes better. Here's the starter hole that he made. And you notice we learned how to mark it by using a chalk line. We got five beds out of the one oil tank. Now he's going to grind the edge so it's not sharp. It's extremely important to wear safety goggles when doing this and bystanders should not be near because the sparks fly very far. The ones on each end had bottoms in which we drilled plenty of holes for drainage. You might want to even put more holes than what we're showing here. We're making a soft edge around the top by repurposing an old hose. You take it and simply put a slot down the length of the hose and it will fit right over the top of the lip of the edge here and we just continue that right around until we get the top covered up. Here is what the finished products look like. My garlic is growing in the background. Oil tanks come with holes of various sorts for incoming and outgoing pipes. And if one falls in an inconvenient spot, you can put a plug in uh, of some sort. And this is what Pete did here. So there you have it. We hope you enjoy your raised beds. Mm -hmm.